everyone. I am here with Team 5727, though Megabytes. They are one of the best teams here at the Mecklenburg event. But with me here are Jonas, Carly, and Jimmy. We will be going into their amazing looking robot with the fantastic packaging, their unique arm assembly, their intake, and then the programming and control side of this. Coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charge Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash first updates now. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash first updates now. Well, I will pass this off to Jonas to give us more about the whole gearbox overview and give an overview of how the arm and all of that works. Thank you. So most of our mechanisms, about 95% of everything that's probably going to break and all the important stuff is in this general area. We've got two motors on each, or four motors, let's say two motors on each side that are connected together on the same hex shaft. One of them to spin the arm forward and backward in this direction. You can do that. Let's see it move right here. That is these two motors in the back. Reminder and then the front motors spin the, opening ceremony the other arm. In roughly one minute. And, and then the virtual no four bar, which is right here, this chain, is aligned with this hex shaft so that when this intake moves, it goes exactly and faces moment, forward. These two chains are always aligned so that the intake is always facing forward. And every piece of movement on this arm, not the intake, that's controlled by this motor right here spinning. Every piece is controlled by some motor down here so that all of our mechanisms are collected at the bottom. It's just chained through there. Awesome. It, it totally looks fantastic and you guys did great on packaging. I'll pass this over to Carly to give us an overview of the intake and how that works. Um, our intake spins in opposite directions when picking up cones and cubes. Right now it's in cube mode as we can see from the LEDs. The LEDs can switch between yellow and like, and it goes in like this, uh, and it will go opposite. And they, the LEDs will turn purple for the cube. Uh, we designed the robot on simplicity. So it's easy, it's easy to replace. Awesome, and is there, it's really cool to see you guys went going with the all-in-one and simplicity I can really see is like king here where it's a beautiful, simple robot, but also amazingly effective. I will pass this over to Jimmy now to talk more about their whole control system and the programming they did to make this whole thing work. So um, when, when we were making the arm, well, when they were designing the arm, Programming was concentrated on how to program an arm because we Final haven't. This is our first year ever doing an arm since our rookie year in 2015. So there's not that many examples like open sourced wise. So we decided to go for like a simple model of forward kinematics. Um, what forward kinematics are is that we have set points that the arm will reach. So like if we go to like high, it has this. Um, oh, hold on. Let's split that out real quick. Ooh. It will go to, so it has set points, so it goes to one, then the other. Um, and we're controlling that using um, profile PID and soon feed forward. So we'll get that really smooth arm movement. At, at, at our actual competition, it was kind of jerky. We were just using our regular PID controller that we barely had time to tune. But now, since we have had, had time to refine it down, it... Um, We've lost the wobble, and it, we are one of the best performing bots on the field at the moment. Awesome. It's, I really like seeing all of this, and it seems like it's a lot of work to put in all this program. And what are you guys doing in regards to like vision, if you're have, using that, and or auto? Um, well, first on the vision part, we were going to use a limelight, but um, 
when we were doing autos, we were waiting for like the, um, cause the supply chain is so, well, trash right now. We couldn't exactly get a limelight to use. So like, what we did was refine odometry so far down that in Pathfinder, um, the software we use for autos, it's literally like inches away from actual real life measurements. It's that refined down. And on the autonomous part of things, um, as I said, we've used Path Planner, but we've done our um, autos really complicated this year. So, well not complicated, it's, it's simple but complicated. So we have like all of our autos, just like we have like 15 base paths. So then we have choices on Smart Dashboard over here of like what we want to intake and where we want to put it. So we have 15 base autos, but in reality, we have really like over 200 to actually use. And that really makes us flexible, like in playoffs, if like our alliance partner does this, we can go do this. And so that we can really just do anything in auto that we really want to. And right now we have a three cube auto that is really consistent. And I'm pretty sure this is the only three cube auto that is here in Mecklenburg. Awesome, I can definitely tell a lot of work went into programming this and you guys have really improved off of Asha. It's really interesting to see how you guys have moved away, are using just gyro and other feedback for vision instead of using a vision system. It's much more advanced that way. Hey, well, I want to say thank you all guys for doing this. I wish you the best of luck during competition and hope you guys do well. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charge Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash first updates now. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash first updates now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.